Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to discuss the topic canonical decomposition. In the previous lecture, we discussed the fundamental theorem of arithmetic. The statement of the theorem was any integer n greater than or equal to 2 either is a prime or it can be expressed as a product of primes. So from the above theorem, it follows that every composite number n can be factored into primes. That is every composite number n can be expressed as a product of primes. Such a factorization is called prime factorization of n. For example, if you are taking the number 5544, 5544, it can be factorized into primes, product of primes like this. Because uh, it can be expressed as 2 into 2 into 3 into 7 into 2 into 11 into 3. So it is a prime factorization of 5, 5, double 4. If you are using the exponential notation here, we have here 2, 3 times here. So we can write 2 power 3. And 3 we have 2 times. So 3 square, 7 1 time and 11 1 time where these 2, 3, 7, 11 are primes. So this, this type of expression is called prime power decomposition. Prime power decomposition of this number. Prime power decomposition. This is actually prime factorization and this is called prime power decomposition of that number 5444. Now, if in this case, if these primes, we have the primes 2, 3, 7, 11. If these primes are in, in increasing order, then such factorization is called canonical decomposition. Canonical decomposition. So this is also a canonical decomposition because we have 2 is less than 3 is less than 7 which is less than 11. So this is a canonical decomposition. So we can define the canonical decomposition as the canonical decomposition of a positive num integer n is of this form n is equal to p1 power a1 p2 power a2 into etc pk power ak where p1 p2 etc pk are distinct primes with the increasing order that is p1 less than p2 less than etc less than pr and each exponent a1 a2 etc ak is a positive integer so this is the canonical decomposition now we can use two methods to find the canonical decomposition of a composite number the first method involves finding all the prime factors beginning with the smallest prime. That is, uh, if we uh, that is that method is actually if we are given a composite number n, then we have the primes 2, 3, 5, 7, etc. So beginning, beginning with the, the first prime, the smallest prime, it is 2. So we are checking uh, 2 divides n for 2 is a factor of n. If 2 is a factor of n, then we can express n as equal to some 2 into some other number m. If 2 is not a factor of n, then we are checking with the 3, etc. Okay, that is the uh, first method. So we can discuss an example. Find the canonical decomposition of uh, the number 2520. We know uh, we have the first prime is 2. We know 2 divides 2520 because 2 is a factor of 2520. Therefore, we can write 2520 is equal to 2 into 1260. Okay. Now, again, now we are checking uh, uh, with uh, this number 1260. Again, we have uh, 2 is a factor of 1260. That means, uh, therefore, we, we can express 12260 as 2 into 630. Therefore, we have 2520 is equal to 2 into 2 into 630. Again, uh, applying the process again. Uh, we have 2 divided 630 or 2 is a factor of 630. Therefore, we can write 630 is equal to 2 into 315. Therefore, we have 2520 equal to 2 into 2 into 2 into 315. Now, next is splitting 315. But uh, we know 2 does not divide 315. 2 does not divide 315. So, we, we are move, moving to next uh, prime which is 3. So, we know 3 divides 315 because we can write 315 as 3 into 105. So we can write 2520 as 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 105. Now again checking this with 3. 
so we know uh, 105 can be written as 3 into 3 35 so we will get this and again we have 35 but 3 does not divide 35 or 35 3 is not a factor of 35 so we will check the next one next one is 5 next to 5 is 5 so we can write 5 is 5 divides 35 or 5 is a factor of 35 because we have we can write 35 can be expressed as a uh, 5 into 7 so now we have all these are primes okay so this is the prime factorization of 2520 so to find the canonical decomposition we have to write these products as exponentials so here we have 2 into 2 into 2 that is 2 power 3 3 into 3 is 3 square 5 into 7 so here we have the primes 2 less than 3 less than 5 less than 7 so we are placed uh, these primes in the increasing order so this is the required canonical decomposition now a disadvantage of this method is actually if n is a large number then it will be time consuming this method will be time consuming so the next method is a second method which is generally more efficient it is it's an efficient method it involves splitting n as a product of two positive integers not necessarily prime numbers and continuing to split each factor into further factors until all factors are primes for example to find the canonical decomposition of 2520 the same number as uh, we done before by the second method so by the second method actually in the first method we are dividing this with the first prime but uh, here uh, we are not dividing uh, with the first prime we know 40 and 63 are factors of 2520 and we know 40 into 63 equal to 2520 so 2520 can be expressed like this 40 into 63 we know 40 and 63 are not primes so we can express this uh, into or, or we can split again this 40 and 63 so simply we can split 40 as 4 into 10 and 63 as 7 into 9 okay now from this we have 7 only the prime 4 10 and 9 are not primes which are composite numbers so we can again split uh, these numbers 4 10 and 9 and 7 cannot be uh, splitted again so this is 7 now now 4 can be split as 2 into 2 10 can be split as 2 into 5 and 9 can be split as 3 into 3 now checking all these are primes now so we can write this as uh, 2 power 3 3 power 2 5 into 7 okay so this is the second method to find the canonical decomposition of a number next factor tree the above method can be illustrated that is the second method can be illustrated as a tree diagram that tree diagram is called a factor tree so in such diagram if a divides b then we connect them by a line segment if a divides b then we connect them by a line segment for for example we have uh, uh, the first step was we done this by writing 2520 equal to 40 into 63 so 60, 43, 40 divides 2520 and 63 divides 2520. So we can draw a line segment to uh, 40 and 63. Again, 40 can be written as 4 into 10. So we, we are drawn, uh, drawn uh, two lines like this. And 63 can be written as 7 into 9. And now 7 is a prime. So we cannot draw uh, any line further from this 7. Now 9 can be written as 3 into 7, 3. So we can draw two lines like this and here 10 can be written as 2 into 5 so we can draw two lines like this and 4 can be written as 2 into 2 so this is the uh, factor tree of uh, 2520 okay so obviously we can find uh, another factor trees or we can find another uh, factorization uh, for this second method also so here the canonical decomposition will be obtained uh, uh, by taking the product of the primes in the leaves of this tree okay these are the leaves so taking these num numbers product we will get uh, the canonical decomposition of 2520 that is 2520 equal to 2 into 2 into 2 then 3 into 3 then 5 then 7 that is 2 cube 3 square 5 into 7 now this canonical decomposition of a composite number can be used to find the positive factors of that number. 
suppose we have a uh, uh, number n now to find the positive factors of this number to find the positive factors of this number we can use the canonical decomposition of n we can illustrate it by an example find the positive factors of 60 so we need to find the positive factors of 60 we know uh, this 60 can be expressed as we know 60 can be expressed as 2 square into 3 into 5 this is the canonical representation of 60 therefore from this canonical representation by the fundamental theorem of arithmetic we can see that the factor of in any factor of 60 is is of this form 2 power a into 3 power b into 5 power c for example 2 is a factor of this so it can be written as 2 power 1 3 power 0 5 power 0 this is equal to 2 and it is a factor of 60 because we have uh, see the canonical representation of 60 is nothing but 2 power 2 into 3 into 5 so any factor of 60 can be expressed as the powers of 2 into uh, the powers of 3 into the powers of 5 where a may be varies from 0 to 2 that is a may be 0 1 2 and b may be b equal to maximum value of b is 1 here and maximum value of uh, c is also 1 so and c b comma c varies from 0 to 1 okay so that is a can be taken as the values 0 1 2 b and c uh, will be taken the values 0 and 1 only for uh, for any factor okay so we can write the factors as so any factor will be of this form 2 power a 3 power b c, c 5 power c so we know uh, the if you are taking a equal to 0 this is a this is b this is e if you are taking a equal to 0 and uh, the first we can uh, take b equal to 0 and c equal to 0 so if you are taking a equal to 0 we will have 2 power 0 3 power 0 5 power 0 it is 1 so 1 is a factor of 60 then uh, fixing a equal to 0 and uh, changing the values of 0 1 uh, b and c b and c can be taken as the values of 0 and 1 so first we taken 0 and 0 then 0 and 1 we can take then 1 and 0 we can take then we can take the value 1 and 1 with the a equal to 0 so that is the first line of this that is here 2 power 0 that is a equal to 0 b equal to 0 and c equal to 1 that is b equal to 0 and c equal to 1 this is the second case that means and third case is uh, a equal to 0 b equal to 1 and c, c equal to 0 b equal to 1 and c equal to 0 and again the fourth case is a, a is 0 and b and c are 1's so we have from this we have 2 power 0 3 power 0 that is 1 5 power 1 is 5 so 5 is a factor of 60 and 2 power 0 is 1 3 power 1 into 5 power 0 that is 3 again from this we get 3 into 5 that is 15 so these are factors now uh, to get the another uh, other factors we can choose a equal to 1 and uh, we can repeat b and c like this okay then we can choose a equal to 2 and we can repeat b and c like this so that that, that are these numbers 2 power 1 3 power 0 5 power 0 that is if a equal to 1 and b and c are this so uh, 2 power 1 3 power 0 5 power 0 it is 2 the next one is 2 power 1 3 power 0 5 power 1 which is 10 and next is 2 power 1 3 power 1 5 power 0 that is 6 then again 30 then with the a equal to 2 here we have 2 power 2 2 power 2 2 power 2 that is with the a equal to 2 we have the factors will be 3 power 0 into 5 power 0 that is 4 and here is 20 12 and 60 so these are the uh, factors of 60 so we have factors 12 factors that is 60 has 12 factors and the factors are 1 5 3 15 2 10, 6, 30, 4, 20, 12 and 60.